Hello and welcome to the video on naming polynomials. We learned in our introduction that polynomials are made up of terms. A term is the product of a number called a coefficient and a variable raised to a positive whole number. When terms are joined together by addition or subtraction, we form a mathematical expression we call a polynomial. Now we're ready to learn more about polynomials themselves. In this section, we'll learn about how polynomials can be named or categorized. The prefix poly means many, and nomial translates to name, but in math we tweak it slightly to mean term. So, polynomial means many terms. Not all polynomials have many terms, however, and those with only one, two, or three can be given specific names. For naming polynomials, simply look for the number of terms. Well, once again, we'll be using some common prefixes to help us here. A single term uses the prefix mono, like monocycle, or a monorail which rides on only one track. When there are two terms, we use the prefix by, as in bicycle, or binoculars. And for a polynomial with three terms, we use the prefix tri, like tricycle or triangle. For four or more terms, we simply refer to the math expression as a polynomial. Try to name each of the following polynomials. Start with the number of terms, then use the prefixes we just identified. The first example has two terms. A polynomial with two terms can be referred to as a binomial. The second example, you should count four terms. And since mathematicians stopped the specific naming at three, we know this is a polynomial. In the next one, we have only one term, making this a monomial. How many terms in this last example? You should recognize three terms, so it would be called a trinomial. The word polynomial can be used to describe any size polynomial, regardless of the number of terms. The more specific names just clarify quickly the number of terms. Monomial tells you, without even seeing it, that there is one term. Binomial has two terms, a trinomial has three and any more than that we would certainly refer to them as polynomials. Maybe poly will help you remember. The array of colors of a parrot suggests that poly sees the world in many colors, and I would not buy, no matter how much you try, the idea that she sees the world in monochrome. Next we'll explore the idea of degree for terms and polynomials.